It's Annie. Today I'm going to share my everyday makeup that I've been doing lately. And hopefully the lighting is good. I feel like I was getting pretty good with the lighting in my other room and now I'm in here and I'm starting all over again. But this is where I'm filming. So we are going to start out with my primer and I've been really loving this. This is for Fabulous. Look Fabulous. Look Fabulous Forever. I always have to remember the name about Look Fabulous Forever. And I will leave a link for everything that I'm sharing in the video. I will leave a link below. I'm just taking a little pump here. You just need a little bit. This stuff is amazing. This is a silicone base. So if you don't like silicone, you're not gonna like it. I like it because it really smooths out my skin. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay. I love this. Um, I know, I think Julie, I think you said you did, this did not work out for you. And you know what? That's why there's so many different products. You know, there's some things that don't work out for me either. So I totally get that girl, I get it. I've been using the Shishido, Shishido, Shishido 50 plus BB cream. I really, really like this a lot. I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on my beauty blender. This is how I do it. And I just apply it like this. I don't like using my fingers. I feel like on my mature skin, now that my skin is getting to a better place, I don't need to use this full of a coverage. So my advice to you, if you are a mature lady, work at getting your skin cleared up so you can wear lighter makeup. Cause I think that lighter uh, foundations just look, it, they just look nicer. The reason that I wear foundation is just to get rid of a little bit of the unevenness in my skin. That's why I wear it. And I just am finding that the less I wear, the better. Another thing I have been doing is I'm not putting it on my nose. I'm gonna do something else there, so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So I do very, very little. I really love this. Kathy had mentioned this on her channel. Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. I'll try to remember to link her, um, her channel below. So now I'm gonna go in with my under eye corrector and I love this. I can never say it, you guys. This is from Lancome and I can never say it. I know I'm gonna say it wrong. Can you see that? I will link the little Ephesernal, sounds like that, Ephesernal. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dab it right there and I only put it on that little darkened area there by my eye because if I put it all over my eye, I'm gonna age myself 10 years and I'm doing everything I can so I don't look 10 years older. I'm just gonna do just a dab right here on the corner here. Do you see that little discoloration? Now I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D locket. And I just like to use this by my scar just so it doesn't look so red. I'll put a little bit on the side here because I have a little bit of veining by my nose. And then I just blend it in. And if I have a blemish or whatever, kind of using a foundation on my nose, I started using this powder on my nose only. And the reason I'm doing that is, it, I, I feel like even with the BB cream, I feel like it really moves around on me and even with my glasses, I, it seems to be keeping my makeup on my nose so it's not wearing off as fast. So I've been powdering my nose with this and it's a dampened beauty blender. And that's another thing, I, I probably should say that in every video. When you use a beauty blender, always use it dampened. I'm gonna go in with my powder and you know, I love my Charlotte Tilbury. I just haven't found anything better, I love this. So this is the Airbrushed Flawless powder, which I love. Now, I don't go crazy powder my face either. I like to set my makeup and I do have dry skin. That's why I love this powder because it's not a heavy powder. It's not gonna look cake cakey or heavy or anything like that. So now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. This is an e.l.f. brush, by the way. And I'm just gonna swirl it in here and then I just will put it around. Now I'm not gonna do my nose because I already did that. And then I'll put it there. And that's all I do. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my favorite bronzer. It's from Chanel. It's the, I think it's the 10 de Soleil bronzer. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, so I just take my brush in here and swirl. And I'm just gonna put a little bit right here on my cheeks. Kind of like where, honestly, I put this where I would contour. That's where I put this. So I'm just getting in here. This is my Chanel contour brush. And I kind of swirl it up here and swirl it in here. And I'll put a little bit even down here. 
just to give some color to my face. And then I'll take a little bit even and I'll do a little bit like I was, like I'd be sort of contouring my nose, I guess. So I shared that I purchased this Too Faced and I don't know if they still have this. I don't know if they do, but th I'm just sharing what I'm using lately and I love this. When I first started using this, when I first bought this, I was like, hmm, it's okay. You know what I mean? I like it, it's nice and stuff, but I like that it's subtle because I've been going for a much subtler look lately. So this is it, comes in this little box, looks like a ring box. So I take my brush and I just, and I put it right here above on my cheeks. I always do that first before I put my blush on because it just gives you a glow within glow. So it doesn't look like you slapped highlighter on top of your blush. I just love it. I think it's a really pretty technique. Blush from Lancome. Now this is an old compact. They don't have this anymore, but you can still purchase it. And I'll put the information below. And the color that I am wearing is Splash Coral. It does come with a sponge, but I've been using my Beauty Blender more for my cushions lately. And I'm just gonna put it right here, like right underneath where I put that um, highlighter can't speak and you can add more on that's what I like about this because it's not like some blushes you have to be careful you put it on and it's like whoa you know what I mean this isn't one of those and I really like it I just think it looks really pretty and soft and natural it just looks like you I have color to my face but it's I'm not overdone you know what I mean I am going to use my Lancome I'm using a lot of Lancome today <laughs> I'm going to use my Lancome Ideal Lip Liner from Tarte this is Beach Babe I got a sample of this. It's a really, really pretty nude lipstick. I love my nude lipsticks, so I'm gonna put that right on top. Really, really pretty. I really like that. I really don't even need a gloss, but I'll put just a tiny bit of my Marc Jacobs on it. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like I need that. I can't tell you the colors, and I couldn't anyways, but here's my, here's my palette. So I'm gonna go in with let me see if I can take these out as I'm doing this. And I wish I knew the names of it, but I'm going to go in with this shadow right here. And this is going to be my transition color right here. One thing I don't look like about her palette is not everybody got the names. I may just purchase another palette just so I have the names. So when I do my videos, I may just do that. I really love this palette. I really, really do. I think the colors are beautiful. I love the pigmentation. I, I really do um, love this palette. Now I'm going to go in with this color here and I blend that out. Really take the time to blend and always go in a circular motion. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. If I was holding my brush down here, I would be, but I'm holding it way back here. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure on here on my brush. Now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite brushes, if I can find it, is this one right here. Again, I will link the brush number up there and below. All the information will be below. I am going to take this brown color right here. And I don't need, don't need a lot. I'm just going to do my outer V with this. And now I'm going to go in, I'm going to take my, this is actually a blending brush, but I love it. And I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime. And I am going to use, I'm going to use this color here. Right there. Hmm. That's pretty, but I think I'm going to go over it with a little bit of a light color too. So I'm going to go in with this color here. So now this is something I do every single time I do my eyes. I don't like to use eyeliner. For me, it's too harsh. Um, this is just some, you know, look that I like to, um, that I think looks better on me. It looks softer. I've been in love with my Kat Von D liner. I love this, love this, love this. So I just go right here, right on top of my, basically it's like I'm lining right on top of my lashes. But I'm going in with my Urban Decay today. Now I'm going to go in and do my brows. I try to go as natural as possible. First I go upwards 
and then I go across and you want to do little short strokes too when you're doing your brows and I follow the direction of my brow and I'm going to go underneath and do the same thing I'm touching very lightly and again do you see how I'm holding this it's just like my makeup brushes you don't want to hold it really close like that because you're going to get it really drawn on so hold it farther back and just do little strokes and just follow the guide of your brow. Now, if you don't have a really good shape brown, you have to create one, then that you have to create one. I have a brow, so I don't have to do that. I just follow the shape of my brow. Now I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see my face comes up. So you can see it's really, really light coverage. It doesn't look cakey or too heavy. It's really, really nice. And it's been lasting throughout the day. Like by the end of the day, my makeup doesn't look all gooped up and sliding around or anything like that. This is probably the best for me in a long time foundation that I've tried. I think I, I ordered another one that I wanna try because it's supposed to be really light coverage too because I like to have options. It depends on how my skin is as far as being oily or dry um, so I like to have some different options and I like to have different options for you guys too but I am really 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 loving this so thank you so much Kathy for sharing this on your channel because I'm loving it girl I'm loving it so that is it thank you so much for joining me I really hope that you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up share 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 this video comment below um, Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, but commenting thumbs up helps my channel so much and I really, 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 really appreciate it. So um, that is it guys. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you real soon.